To coincide with the launch of three new episodes of the cult TV series Red Dwarf, we've had a route down the Eco Geek archives to find vintage footage from a couple of years ago that never made it to the web. TV's own Robert Llewellyn presenter a scrap heap challenge and the man behind the rubber mask of Red Dwarf's paranoid android Crichton speaks to me, Eco Geek's own Gavin DJ Harper at the Revolve Eco Rally, Trafalgar Square, London, where Robert drove an electric commercial vehicle from Brighton to London. DJ Harper from EcoGeek that all talking to Robert Welling, the man behind the latex mask and the front face of Scrap Dick Challenge. This one, you drove this Modec vehicle up from Brighton. Yeah. How did you find it? Wonderful, really good. It's, it's an all electric van. It, it does, it's got a top speed of 50 miles an hour, but that's governed by the software, which runs on Windows. Windows? Yes, it's Windows CE operating system, which is slightly alarming. I did find that a bit nervous. But it worked really, really well. It, it, it gets to 50 miles an hour really quick. We burnt off a transit van. I'm very proud of the traffic lights. Uh, it's absolutely silent. It just runs along. It does, it's got about a 100, 110 mile range on charge, which is quite good, which is perfectly good. I've got us up here. Got us up here. And in, in a town, it would, it would drive all day because every time you stop, it's not using energy. It's just sitting there. So it's, you know, it's the future. It's very obvious. Stuff. We had a look at the load area. In, in the back, in the back. loads of room. Huge, huge, absolutely enormous. Like yeah. Fantastic stuff. You could have a house in there. In, in 50 years' time, do you see people cutting these to bits on scrap I, I, I would love to do it today, but we wouldn't be allowed. Right. <laughs> I've got an anchor grinder in the well, back. I've got an anchor grinder with me, no. But I mean, it's, it, it, we have done electric vehicles on scrap bits, and they were great fun. They did work. Electric off road vehicles. So, I mean, I'm, and I'm desperate to get an electric car, and you just can't get them yet, but as soon as you can, I'll get them. What do you think about the Tesla Road stuff? I, it's, it, I dream about it. I've had embarrassing, you know, I should dream about semi-naked young women, but I don't. I dream about a Tesla Road stuff. It's tragic. Will your name be on the old list? I've, I've, already, I've already spoken to them, and they don't think, well, they're not, they're not selling them in this country yet. Oh, no. no, so I don't know. I'm going to live in America. But have you heard about the... the uh, the fetish. Oh, you've got to check. Just, just Google. It's the I forgot the first name of the company that make it, but it's, this, it's similar to the two-seater sports car, much faster, electric, all electric. Gosh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. No, no, but made in Monaco. Yes, you probably could get one in this country. Yeah, but phenomenally expensive. I think 350,000 euros, which is nearly 200,000 pounds. But it's it, the only car that's fast enough to 60 mile road car is the Bugatti Veyron. So when you drove up from Brighton, did you stick to all the speed limits? Or did there, was you burn no, there was no, there was no way of breaking them. That's the good thing about electric vehicles. You don't, it's, it's governed, you can't go more than 50. Oh, so, yeah. I did go 32 in a 30 mile an hour. So, just to try it out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah,